Well, thank you, Paulo, so much for attending. It's great to have you here in Doha, and I hope you enjoyed. Could you tell us a little bit about the European Association for Viewer Interests and what you do? Well, it's uh, EAVI is uh, is a small platform that is uh, meant to uh, advance the interests of of uh, citizens and uh, and uh, media users. It's a no-profit organization, uh, what is called a civil society body, and is based in Brussels. We run uh, a number of uh, of uh, initiatives, including research uh, and uh, uh, information campaigns. Okay. In your remarks, you talked about a study you just did on digital media literacy. What were some of the interesting findings of that study? Well, th this was uh, quite a challenge. Uh, the, the main thing was how to assess uh, media literacy levels. So if you think about uh, how would you measure uh, uh, critical capacity, for instance, mm. it comes down to uh, similar issues like how to measure the quality of the TV program. And uh, we found uh, uh, really very interesting, we have done uh, the study for, uh, for uh, 12 months, uh, is uh, gathering together information and, uh, and advices uh, from uh, all over Europe in 27 countries in 20 different languages. Uh, wow. <laughs> and uh, the, the outcome uh, was that we, we, we divided uh, the, uh, there were three main criteria to measure media literacy. One is uh, use, uh, that is a uh, uh, sort of technical uh, skill uh, that people have to have. Uh, and, uh, uh, so preliminary, they have to have access and, and availability to those media. The second criteria is uh, critical thinking. So the, the, the competence that uh, a media user and the citizens has uh, to decode the content, to understand the context in which a program is transmitted, why it is transmitted that way. And the third, at the top of the pyramid, as we call it, uh, there is the uh, participation aspect. So, how you use uh, these uh, these uh, abilities in order to participate in public life? Okay. And um, when you look at digital media literacy, you know, across all of Europe, are you finding it's the youth that are more literate, adults? How did, or is there not a discrepancy in the ages? Is uh, is uh, we we have uh, actually rank the, the the countries and and we found uh, certainly that. Uh, uh, using this criteria and the, and the associated indicators, we found that there are certain uh, regions or countries that are more media literate than, uh, than uh, others, and uh, the, or that have certain characteristics more developed than others. For instance, Finland scores very high in technical capabilities. And, uh, but as well as this, we came up with a series of recommendations that uh, the European Commission in particular, but uh, national governments uh, as well uh, should include in their policies in order to increase the level of media literacy of their citizens. What are some of those recommendations that you included? Well, uh, the uh, certainly a number of initiatives uh, that you can take uh, in order to develop a media education. So the education uh, that, uh, that the students receive at school uh, is, uh, uh, should include in the curricula is a media education uh, uh, as a separate subject or transversal on, on some of the subjects that, uh, that are uh, taught. The other thing is that uh, uh, we found uh, uh, that uh, a, a number of uh, aspects are hindering or facilitating the development of media literacy. This includes uh, uh, the, 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 the media policy, so the inactive uh, mm -hmm. uh, role of, of uh, uh, governments uh, who, and, and uh, regulators uh, to promote uh, specifically media literacy of common in UK is uh, particularly good in, in, in that sense and yet they have uh, an obligation to, to do so. Other things are uh, uh, information campaigns we found that, uh, that are quite uh, useful. Uh, as a matter of fact uh, the, the, um, the, the experts uh, that uh, we have uh, asked to, to contribute to this study they, they didn't, uh, after 20 years uh, that we talk about media literacy, in whichever, I mean, using also the, the terms that are quite synonymous, like uh, uh, the, the, uh, digital literacy, information literacy, etc., et they couldn't even agree on a shared definition. Yeah. And uh, the, the fact that the documentation is now more available, and that the study that, that I'm mentioning is freely available on our website as well, uh, is I think that uh, the 
the, the, the will be a, a positive progress in, in spreading and uh, letting uh, understand uh, the importance of, of, uh, of uh, media literacy. If the Middle East or the, the Gulf region, you know, the Arab world, Middle East, Gulf region, depending on which group you want to look at, were to do a, a study on media literacy, what issues should they consider in implementing that? Well, I think it's quite the, the, the issues and the criteria that, uh, that we have identified are quite universal. Okay. At the end of the day, it, it comes down to, to, to people and uh, uh, human beings are human beings wherever they live. And uh, the, the capacities uh, that, and the focus uh, really that, that I recommend uh, to, to pay more attention on is uh, the developing of, of critical thinking. Is, uh, this is really the core because you can acquire is uh, technical capacities, but uh, to develop uh, is, is uh, a critical understanding uh, is something that at the moment I found quite underestimated mm -hmm. by, by the, the, some of the, 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 the wars that we have encountered, the media or the, or the educational world, and that this is really key in the longer term is uh, technical uh, filters uh, is or, or uh, to, to protect uh, our children, for instance, so for, uh, for uh, a bad use of, of, uh, of internet and the web, but it doesn't really work, in my, in my opinion. Okay. So how do you foster critical thinking? Critical thinking is, uh, is uh, uh, we have used uh, uh, three main indicators, and uh, uh, one uh, is uh, how and whether you are capable of decoding the content is whether you are able to understand if something is live or not, whether a program is information or propaganda, whether it's an advert or a program itself. So to distinguish between what is true and what is false, is then you have to have the competence and the capability of understanding the context, why that program is transmitted. is is having work in, in a television and, uh, and I have done it for many years, it's quite clear what is behind the screen. Is uh, we will, uh, Behind the screen uh, there are the, the career of, of a media professional, so there are the, the, the money, there is the care of the audience, so there are, uh, uh, generally speaking, a, a channel or a television channel is, is not made uh, for educational purposes only, to see the list. Is, uh, so is, is uh, uh, the content, understanding the content, understanding the context, and then uh, showing that you are uh, capable of uh, uh, using the, the, that competence that you have used, that you have, uh, that you have built, and uh, therefore is, uh, is a good indicator uh, if you uh, are capable, for instance, on, on search engines uh, to, to, to use uh, multiple search engines, uh, to, to, I mean, uh, why so much content is available only in English, is uh, um, there are a number of, of issues that, uh, that signal your, uh, your level of, of media literacy. That there are documentation and, uh, is, uh, uh, that one can study too. How important is having content available in your native language to media literacy? In the Arab world, uh, Dr. Hesse talks a lot about a shortage, shortage of Arabic language content. Is that an issue in Europe? What well, is, uh, is uh, we, we actually found out that, uh, that the, the, the language that is used by m the most people in the world is not English, but it's, uh, it's Mandarin, it's Chinese. And uh, the, but it's certainly true that, uh, that uh, the, the, well, I wouldn't say most authoritative, but, uh, but uh, the, 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 the sources that uh, are used more often are certainly in English. Is, uh, it is certainly an issue in Europe in, in the sense that uh, what we define the mosaic of Europe uh, is, uh, and therefore I'm coming from Italy, and, uh, and uh, uh, we have, uh, I mentioned, uh, to, to do this study in 20 different languages is uh, certainly people refer uh, more easily to, to their own language uh, and uh, uh, not only for an uh, uh, economical point of view but I would say from, uh, from a more ample social, cultural, historical uh, value 
people should develop and should use uh, content in their own language. I think that, uh, that uh, this is uh, key and essential. Great. Thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Thanks to you. Thank you. Bye.